okay let me show you a brief overview of this converter here as you see it is shiny here there is much sunshine and here the solar wires are coming in and this wire is carrying the solar power and it is entering the power converter these are the meters this meter shows the solar voltage this meter shows the solar current this meter shows the solar uh, sorry the grid current this meter shows the grid input voltage dc this is the load box out of this these are the fixed resistors and this is a variable one this meter shows the load output current and this meter shows the load voltage coming to the circuit it is di it is divided into two stages here it consists of the control circuitries and the firing circuitries here it consists of the power electronic power circuitries these are the inductors and everything is there inside here we have the plug point through which we are taking grid supply and the driver supplies so let us switch on the system So we have switched on the system right now. So let us see what happens. Here as you can see the solar is right now switched off. The grid input voltage is 30 volt around 31 volt and the input current is 0.71 ampere. Here the load output current is 0.72 ampere at 24.3 volt. So right now the solar power input is zero, the, it is all supplied by the grid. So let me switch on this solar switch right now. Here as you can see it is 19.7 volt and 0 0.05 ampere. Here it is 0 0.65 0 0.31 and 31 volt. So what is interesting to see that there will be a dynamic power adjustment between the two powers. As you can see it here, the solar current is increasing and the grid current is to decrease. Let us observe how it happens. See, the solar current is increasing and the grid current is decreasing. The solar current has increased to 0.9. The grid current is still decreasing. So it is dynamic adjusting. So the solar algorithm has reached is MPPT point. I hope so. Because there is a very few oscillations. So the solar parameters are 10 point 5 volt around 11 volts at 1.5 and 1.68 ampere the main current or that is the grid current has gone down to 0.24 ampere and 32 volts however the about the load voltage you see it is still around 24 volts and 0.72 ampere so without any interruption to the load voltages and currents there is a dynamic power adjust between the two systems that is the solar and the grid. See right now it has almost been stable at 12 point around 12 volt and 1.57 ampere. Now what happens if there is a sudden blackout of the solar thing. So turning the solar off I am actually simulating this condition. Let us see what happens. 1, 2, 3, off. You can see the solar parameters have gone to zero but there is a rapid adjustment at the grid side and the load is the load parameters are the same so without any disturbance it has adjusted dynamically now let me switch on the solar supplies again see it has remembered its past parameters and the system has quickly adjusted to its previous configuration 
द वोल्टेज इज अराउंड इलेवन वोल्ट एंड वन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर एम्पियर एंड दर इज अगेन अ मेन्स द पैरामीटर्स हैव री एडजस्टेड टू दिस न्यू कंडीशन द ग्रेट करेंट इज लेस एंड द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द लोड आर अगेन द सेम सो वॉट इफ देर इज अ चेंज इन द लोड सो वी आर एडजस्टिंग दिस एज यू कैन सी ओनली द करेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग द लोड वोल्टेज इज स्टिल मेंटेन एट द सेम लेवल सो देर कैन बी एन एडजस्टमेंट बिटवीन द various load resistances see the current has increased but the voltage is being maintained the same however as we can go to down the solar algorithm is still adjusting to this new condition and there is an increment in the grid parameters because i think so the solar is not able to supply this load completely so it is being substituted with the grid power supply so as to meet the new load conditions it is again readjusting so the adjustment is complete and so the system does really really work thank you